My name is Angela Villaluna. I teach fourth grade at Pleasant Valley School. And I'm super excited that NUSD has taken on proficiency-based education and learning for students. I've been a part of the TLT community for Novato Unified School District. And what it represents for our students is that we've taken all of our standards, we've narrowed them down to the essential standards, which spans across grade levels. And the exciting part about proficiency-based education is that it puts the power in the student's hands to completely be able to advocate and speak to what they need in education to further their understanding um, throughout their educational careers. In transitional kindergarten and kindergarten, when we talk about PBE, the exposure for the littles is really the academic language, but also having them exposed to what they need to understand, what they need to know before moving on to kindergarten and first grade. So we've got the learning maps for them that are tied in with the essential standards. And they get an understanding by being exposed to what those look like, what they are learning so that they have a better grasp of what they need to know in order to move on to the next grade level. This is my town, Pop-Tart Pizza Land and it's worth nine one hundreds, three tens, and eight ones, which is 938, and it's a three-digit number. This is my town, Ghost Town, and it's 1,000, it's one one thousand and four hundreds, six tens, four ones, and it equals 1,464, and it's a four-digit number. So what I love about proficiency-based education is that it is student-centered. So often, kids are compared with other kids, but not with proficiency-based education. It is student-centered. It's based on what students know, what they need to know, what they want to know. The one other thing I love about PBE, that acronym, is the progression through the grade levels. Right now we're doing numbers base 10, and if I look at all of the learning maps, kindergarten through fifth grade, the vocabulary is pretty much the same in all of them, except it just expands each year. Ones and tens are two words that are on every single learning map. And I, as a teacher, I just love that. I love that I know that my students are just going to build from year to year. Right, guys? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. So what PBE looks like in fourth grade is we've taken our essential standards and we've placed them all with proficiency scales for teachers and families to be able to focus on. And then we've created learning maps for students. So that way they have them in their binders, they can refer to them during math and language arts lessons. And then as we give students assessments, which most of the teachers are now creating to match those learning maps for students, the students after the assessment can review how they did, they can look at their learning map and they can further their understanding of concepts by looking at areas that are missing or look at areas where they need to challenge themselves more. So those learning maps also give students the academic language to express to their parents their academic needs and to be able to express where they need extras and challenges. 